What's up everybody, welcome back to Lost in Earth Survival. Now, okay, good, there is game sound. Right, the update has just finally dropped. This is update 1.11.8 for those that were wondering. And as per usual, I've already done a video about it, so I figured we'd head out on a raid. Got the raiders here. They want me to kill the blind one, which I'm not going to do. Find one more puppy and open a blue box at the police department, which I'm not going to do any of. So, there we go, we've got the raid finished, ready to go, however, I can finally get the Irish pack and the green outfit. So, I'm going to purchase these quickly, and I'll be back in a second. And there we have it, we now have both of them, which means that we now actually have two mannequins. So, ooh, hang on. And we've got the nice fancy hat. Can we go and find a nice spot for our... First up, can we place the mannequin just on the floor? Yes, we can. Okay, well, that sorted it. I know this might... Oh, no, because this might mean our armor could get stolen. Hmm. Right. S straight up, you are not allowed to dab. Okay. You can be Freddie Mercury with a hat on. That's cool. Right, yeah, ideally, what I might... Oh, I really want to keep the Chinese armor on there, but I really want these to be outside my front door. What I might do is end up putting them in one of my internal rooms. Yeah, I do not want the Chinese armor one sitting there. Don't particularly want to lose that first day of having it. There we go. You know what? I kind of like them being there. They'll sit there for now. Right, we have got the Irish pack here. I like how the update actually came out the day after Pat St. Patrick's Day. But here we go. Let's open this up. Straight up. Ten of the hard mode notebooks. Hopefully, once we've got all 20 of them, that might even be enough to get us a floppy disk, which would be two more C4. And speaking of C4, if we could get some. Perfect. C4 is actually the only thing I need in the game at the moment. I've got basically everything else. I think. Have I got this? Pretty sure I do. Oh, factory parts. Factory parts are a big need. So I might have to splash out on some of the factory part packs at some point. But I'm going to wait and see if they go on offer. There we go. we got another hat. Got more notebooks. Haven't gotten any of the rares. A little bit disappointing. Some more coins. So we've almost covered the coins we used to go on the raid. wonder why they didn't do that as a full stack of medkits. Hmm. We've got the C4, and yeah, we got absolutely none of the rares from it. But look at that, we got four C4 there now. Oh, and we've got, of course, we've got three of the um, nice fancy Irish hats, haven't we? Right, let's get some armor on. Uh, I think, actually, no, we can wear the military. Yeah, I'm going to go in full military. Right, and we should also probably grab some silence weapons to take with us. Is that a silence clock? That is a silence clock. Is that? That also is. Perfect. Haven't just used glocks on raids for quite a while now. Right, now let's grab... Let's go from this end. Starting with these slightly weaker hatchets. You know what? We'll leave it, leave it as that. Let me double check quickly. Make sure I've actually still got hatchets in my inbox. I should do. I really hope I do. Are they down here somewhere? Um, one hatchet. Two. I've got two hatchets in my inbox. I'll grab one more just to be safe. And, oh, you know what? We are not wearing the tactical backpack. We want to take that with us. And I think it's actually there. Also do not want to lose my tactical backpack. That's a good job I moved that inside. Cue there being a bug where you can loot things through windows. Right. Let's go on a raid. And hopefully we're going to get one as good as the raid we got on the free spy account the other day. Because we just got an absolute ton of katanas from that. But if I waste C4 again, I might kill something. Now just move the microphone up a little bit. Hopefully that sounds a bit better. So in the new update, the raid base is yeah pretty much in the exact same location. So now, one, once you start raiding those ones, they will be there for an hour. And when you leave, they'll be on fire. What I want to know is, does the same thing happen with those bases? Let's find out. Firearms are pretty loud and may attract unnecessary attention. Use at your own risk. 
Now, if I was smart, I would have actually looked at the name of this base. However, doesn't look like there's really much here. Hmm. Okay, well, they've got stone floors in there. Let's just smash through their door. And hope that it's a misleading base and there's actually good loot in here. Okay, so there's a few boxes in there. There's quite a few boxes in there, actually. There we go. And none in there. Okay, so that was a little bit of noise we wasted there. Right, so we're going to smack everything twice. Get it all nice and softened up, ready to be broken. How are we looking on hatchets? Uh, pretty low already. Right now, I think we're going to be getting a wave of zombies coming in. Are they not coming yet? Yeah, whatever. Now they are. And that box is empty! Great start. Um, That's not too bad. Got a couple of tickets in there. What are we getting? Yeah, that's, that's nothing terrible. I mean, I'll take these bits. They'll just get recycled, but I can also trade them with the dealer. Ooh. Um, I'm going to take the carrot soup. And I'm going to keep stocking up on beans. Ooh, and actually, I, li I do like the combo. I never have enough of it because I don't think... Ooh, there we go. Found where the guns are and a few more hatchets as well. Right, let's grab the hatchets. It's a shame you can't put the silencer on with the spread shot mod on the shotgun. That would be really powerful if you could. Right, I'm thinking drop off some of these bits. Actually, nah, let's open up a couple more boxes first. Ooh, that's a free electronic circuit. Ooh, wrenches. I need those wrenches for making the saw blade mod. Get in there. Little bit of oak. Leather. Nice. I was in a massive need for leather a while ago, and then went on a raid, spent the whole raid complaining that I didn't have any leather, and found an absolute ton of it. So that was nice. Right then, what are we going to stash away? Let's keep the guns safe. I'm going to take a mostly full durability shotgun, probably down like a third, I think. A uh, single red ticket, and let's stash some beans. Beans? Carrot soup. They are not beans. Right, let's see what's in here. Oh, hello. Can I um actually you know what? Let's save and paralyze one of the one of the big ones. Now let's kill all the others. Yeah, I think the paralyzing shot's definitely more useful against single enemies. Not paralyzing shot, leg shot. There we go. I would love it if the zombies here drop tickets when you attack them. Right, and the ones in the farm and everything, I know they won't because Obviously, they're not the military ones. They just look the same. But it would be cool. Right then, what are we going to do loot-wise? don't really need or want any of that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take those limestone. Hmm. Take that. Take some bits of leather. I've got a task at the moment. Oh, no, it's on the other account that I've got the task to... Ooh, the wrenches. That's what we need. Don't want to forget them. Let's leave them in that place. Right, let's go sort our inventory out a little bit. So let's bring food up next. A lot of people complain about the things I take in raids. You need to remember that I'm not in the same place in the game as you. So I, what you see as valuable, I don't necessarily also see a worth for. Hmm... I would like that hatchet as well. I'll leave behind the watches. Now I think. Oh, hang on. There's um. Make it there. We can make this into a full stack. Let's equip that one. And there we go. We just got another slot. Not really anything I want to put in it though. Hmm. Let's see what's in the workbench. There's always a chance you get steel in there. And it's empty. All right. So I. Th think we should end it by just smashing everything they own. Uh, right, 
right, so that's one, two, oh, can't break that one. Oh, and now we're dying of hunger. Okay, let's, um, oh, that's nice. Now, if you had SWAT shoes on as well, you would easily be able to deal with a big one on raids now with that leg shot. Well, not easily, but if you've got, I'd say, SWAT shoes, the sprint skill, auto healing, and the leg shot, that would be a really nice combination for raids. Now, you know what? Not the best raid I've ever had, but it is by far not the worst. I think what we should probably do is try and upgrade our chopper to the full eight slots. Now, I'm not sure how many more blueprints I actually need for it. I think I've got 11 of them sitting in my base. I know it was 40 total I needed. Oh, let's um not die quickly. Let's do that. There we go. All right, so it should be over here. Yes, it is. So we need, okay, we need 35 more. Right then. That is a lot more than I was expecting. Now, let's just drop quick drop off for uh, items. Okay, um, okay, I'm going to try and be semi-organized. Uh, tickets go in this box. Wrenches can go in there. Wrenches do not go in there. Oh, well, I'll put it in there now. All right, so I think what we're going to do next is probably head just over to the gas station, pet petrol station, whatever it is you want to call it. If you're calling it by the correct name, it is petrol station. Because gas is not a liquid gas is a gas so you would not put that in a car unless your car run on get ran on gas cars don't run on gas right what is it that I need to take with me I'm gonna need to stop crouching thank you so we want to take with us chopper gas tanks um, two of them and then I can't remember what else it is that we can trade in over there. Oh, my mind has gone completely numb. Hmm. Oh, well. Right, let's grab the blueprints we've got at the moment. Where are they? Can you... Thank you. Where is it? Am I completely blind? Have I put them in a vault? Yes, I have. Here we go. So we got 10 for custom bike. Hopefully they were all for the off-road bike. Which puts us 25 slots towards getting it. And in theory, if we trade in all these bits, we should get, I think it'll be 4 or 8. One of the two. So yeah, we're now at 15. We are at 5. Yes, that was all 10 for that. Have I got anything in the storage of my military bike? No. What about this one? Nope. A uh, nice classic chopper. And then my really dirty bike. Right, over to the gas station we go. Right, sneaking our way in. Kind of. Not even slightly. That was just failed at sneaking. Now, unfortunately, there are no locked boxes over here. So we're not going to be able to get any grenade smolts for here. Ow, that was painful. I hate the Savage Giants so much. They move at just the right speed to be annoying. There we go, let's get these ones killed. Now, I'm not sure because I'm getting conflicting information about this. Does killing toxic abominations at the gas station count towards the raiders' tasks? Some people are saying it does, some people are saying it doesn't. I've tested it myself and I can't work it out. Right, throw that in. Throw that in. There we go. And please don't be repair kits. Ah, damn. So that one. Uh, we got two for the military. Two for blueprint custom bike. Why is that not called off road bike? Hmm. That's weird. Whatever. Well, there we go. We've got two for the custom bike. Uh, two for the military bike and there for the off-road that's a little bit disappointing all right let's go hunt down a few grenades I'm thinking because I really want some 
I uh, don't want to deal with all of you. How is it that I can sneak in, not aggro anything, and then on the way out just get an entire train run coming after me? You know what, I can't actually remember where the motel has moved to. I've just seen there's a bit of fluff on my microphone. Hopefully that wasn't really loud. There it is. Okay, so there's actually a little road sign there. That's quite cool and didn't notice that before. Well, I'm thinking, do you think we will ever be able to see where this road goes? Because the map is absolutely huge. I can't see them ever expanding all the way out. I think most likely it's going to be done in the style that Sector 7 is currently done, where you just pick a location and teleport to it. But it would be nice to see the map expanded again. And if we look do, 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 over here, so we have got this other watchtower here, and transport required is the ATV. So I'm thinking this is going to be the one that we are getting next, and that this area here is going to be the swamp, because that does look kind of swampy to me. Like loads of water, grassy areas around it. Hopefully. Let me all know, know what you think. Let me all know what you think. Let me know what you all think. That's a much better way around of saying it. Right, let's see if we can get any grenades from here. And any wrenches as well. Because I cannot finish my new saw blade mod without wrenches. I think I need 10 more factory parts for it. But yeah, I need 16 wrenches total. And I've got 4. Which... Any of you that know how to count will know that is not enough wrenches to finish it. Right. Let's grab this quickly. I forgot that the things here actually drop stuff, but it's just normal bits of rope and cloth, isn't it? Do you get stuck on that? Yeah, you do. Tiny little traffic cone gets you stuck. Right, let's place the boom box down. <sighs> Pardon me. It's not to yawn. Boom. I do like that little detonation. It's so satisfying. I love that it actually blows the wall apart as well. Right. Come on. Give me some grenades. I would like some of them. Dead before you even standing up. Take that. Have I got any... No, I haven't got a hatchet in my inventory still. Hey, we got ourselves a grenade. So I think I'm up to just over two stacks now. Hey, floater bloater. Yeah, just over two stacks of grenades now. Right, now I have been told that the walls there that you have to smash through, you can actually just stand against it and they will break. Yeah, they will break their way through. But will they do it with the other one, the other doors up that way? Yes. Okay, so all the times I've been coming here without hatchets, I've just been wasting my time. Because you can actually get through. Ooh, there's a boiler in here. Do you think you can get wrenches in a boiler? I think you can. You also get wood. Yeah. That's a shame. What kind of things are they dropping? Uh, nothing that good. Where's the hole in the wall there? Empty bathroom. I re really do like the motel. I know it's really for early game players. doesn't give anything that good. But it's just a nice little change of scenery from the rest of the game. Especially with the little pointless rooms that just have a bathroom in them. Hello. Okay, there goes our gun. Okay, so are you not going to break through? No, you're not. Alright then. So yeah, there's one box back there that we can't get to. Ooh, we got another free gun from here. Let's zoom out. Yes, it's just that room there. Let's kill the Weeper. You're coming too fast. Get slowed down. What does she give us? Just a bit of rope. It'd be nice if she gave something a bit better because she is a semi-special boss. Because she's a little bit harder to kill for people that are brand new in the game. Oh, you're not going to really, really be taking down the Weeper with Spears. Well, you might, in which case you're a bit of a badass. This one not breaking either? Nah, okay. So most of them break by themselves. However, there are two that you can only get through if you have an axe with you. Right, and just... No, don't do that. My stuff doesn't go in there. Just checking to make sure I haven't missed any rooms in here where you can get grenades. Pretty sure. Uh, Alright, I'm going to end off the video here. Hope you enjoyed that. 
decently all right raid. We didn't get anything special from it. We didn't get anything horrible. So hope you all enjoyed and I'll be seeing you next time. Let me know what you would like to see me doing in the future. Bye.